What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Discord of Donji ES tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be doing a suggestions channel and a suggest command. So this was inspired by my server. Right here on my server, I have a suggestions channel where someone can type some sort of keywords, a bunch of keywords, and the bot is actually going to replace those keywords with an embed and then display like this with two emojis so people can vote yes or no for that suggestion. So I actually got a suggestion to do this video inside of this suggestions channel. So if you are new to coding and need help with your Discord bot, make sure to join my server, come all the way down here in the coding section, and there's a bunch of channels here for your help. So let's go ahead and get it started. We're gonna be doing a suggestions command. We're not gonna be doing a suggestions event, an event that checks if someone sent a message in a suggestions channel. We're just gonna be doing a command just to make this more simple. So the command is gonna be named suggestions that JS. I'm going to start by doing the typical module.exports for the name. We're going to have the same name as the file. We are going to have two aliases. The aliases is going to be suggest as well as suggestion. So suggestion. We're not going to have a cooldown. We are going to have the permissions, but we're not going to enter any permissions. So just an empty list. And then we're going to have a description. And description can be something like uh, creates a suggestion and then finally do the execute method with my parameters which is message rxcmd client and discord go ahead and open this up and the first thing that we want to do is we want to check that that member that just sent a message that specific server that they sent a message in actually has a permissions channel so there's multiple ways we can do this if you're more advanced and you're actually creating a huge bot you might want to do this through a database so a specific admin can actually specify what is that suggestion channel with the channel id however for this video once again trying to keep it simple we're just going to check that that server has a channel that is named permissions so const channel and it's going to be equal to message that guild that channels that cache that find um, and we're going to do C pass this in and make sure that C that name the channel name triple equals to permissions sorry permissions not permissions suggestions suggestions and then we're going to check that that channel exists or technically check if that channel doesn't exist to then send a message saying hey you are missing this channel in your server so return message that channel that send suggestions channel does not exist or something like that you guys can edit these messages so we actually go ahead and run our bot and go into our test server here and we go into a random channel and do the suggestions uh command or suggest is one of the aliases it's going to say hey suggestions channel does not exist if we go ahead and actually create the suggestions channel and retype that command suggest it's actually not going to send anything because the channel actually does exist. So let's go back into our code. And now what we're going to do is get the arguments of the user and then use those arguments to send an embed. So let message args, it's going to be equal to args that join and open this up and then do single quotation marks with a space. And that's going to join all of the arguments. And now like my server does it, we are going to send an embed. So let's create the embed. So const embed is equal to new discord that message embed. We are going to add a color. So set color and it's going to be a hex number. So let me go ahead and grab that hex color real quick and make sure I have it right here. And then the next thing is actually set the author of that embed so people know who that suggestion was from. So set author. The first thing we're going to pass in is the actual author name. So it's going to be message dot author that tag. And the next thing is going to be the little picture at the top right of the message. So this little picture is just going to be the avatar of whoever sent that message. Um, so it's going to be message dot author that display avatar URL, open this up with parentheses and then open it up with brackets. And then we're gonna do dynamic equals true. We do dynamic, so if someone does have a GIF as their profile picture, 
then it's just going to actually be able to play that GIF. And finally, set description. Description is going to be the message args that we're getting from that member. So message args. So let's go and actually send the message to that specific suggestions channel. So it's just going to be channel that send and we're going to send that embed. And if we actually go ahead and test our bot currently, no space dot coming to our discord server and then let's do suggest a welcome video. Go into our suggestions channel. And as you can see, we just suggested something. Now we have to add the emoji as well as what I want to do is go ahead and delete this message. So when someone types the command, it actually deletes the command from whatever channel they just sent it from. So we're going to do a dot end. So dot then we are going to get a message. Make sure you name this right here, this variable, not the same thing as this message up here. Cause we're going to be using both of these. Open this up with an arrow function. And the first thing we're going to do is react to that message. So message react. And we're going to react first with a thumbs up. So let me get that emoji. And the next thing we're going to react with is a thumbs down. So let me get that thumbs down emoji from over here. And finally, once it's done reacting, we actually want to delete the original message that the user sent. So message dot delete. Go ahead and save this. And we should probably do a catch right here. So that catch. We are going to get an error. Let's do an error function here. And we're going to throw the error. You guys can console.log an error if you guys want. Or a message. So. Run our bot. We're pretty much done with the code. Let's actually see how everything functions. So let's say this is a new member that's going to suggest something. So suggest. And it's going to be make a coding video. It's going to then delete that original message that the user sent. Come here to the suggestions. And it's going to be a suggestion. So make a coding video. Now people can come here and thumbs up or thumbs down to that suggestion. They can do it here as well. You guys can edit all the permissions that you guys want on a specific channel. So suggest make another, uh, that's nice, but another coding video. Boom, deletes it, make another coding video. And the other side of actually creating a suggestions channel, it's actually coming here, go to edit channel and customize all of the permissions so people don't have the permissions uh, to do some things in that channel, but that's pretty much it. They can do it in any single channel, uh, suggestion. Hello. And it's going to go ahead and delete that message and create one in the suggestions channel. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys learned something. It's pretty basic. You guys can go ahead and make this into a big thing with databases and multiple servers. But for now, this is kind of like the main code that you guys can use. So I want to thank all my Patreons. These are the Patreons that you see here on the screen. If you guys do want to become a Patreon, make sure to check the description down below. And you guys do get some neat perks in my Discord server if you are a Patreon. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later on my next video. Peace.